Welcome to another session of SAP UI5 video tutorials. So in this session we will be having a look at charts in SAP UI5. So let us look at the agenda for this session. First I will just show you the overview of charts and then I will just tell you about the general terms that are used in charts in SAP UI5 and then with the help of an example I will just explain you what is SAP Viz charts and SAP Viz frame charts. Now moving on to the next here I have mentioned the overview of chart. So what exactly is a chart? So chart is a basic graphical representation of data in the form of symbols such as bars in a bar chart or slices in the pie chart. So SAP UI5 supports charts and it has few libraries like sap.macket, sapvis.ui5, sap.vis.ui5.controls.visframe. So these first two are, are de depreciated since 1.38 versions and 1.32 version. So currently we are using with frame charts but we will be using sap.vis.ui5 charts here also since we have to understand the basic concept of charts. So that is why I, I will be explaining you the example of UI with charts here and uh, afterwards I will be also explaining the example on with frame charts. Now th these are some of the supported charts like bar chart, column chart, pie chart, donut, bubble, stack bar, etc, etc. So there are many supported charts in SAP UI5. So let us look an example here using this and here we will mention some of the charts of this chart that is this one B. Now here we are getting a particular chart here that is line chart. So this is this chart example. So these are already depreciated since this chart are not, no longer in use but here we are mentioning this to just display how the charts looks like in SAP UI5. So these are just depreciated but we will be using this frame charts. So this is a line chart. Here all the axes are coming X and Y. This is the name of the axis and here you could see this is the legend and these are all other charts like combination chart is there, there is the bubble chart, this is the stack V bar chart. So similarly there are many other supported charts in SAP UI5. Now let us just look at some general terms here. So the first is the raw data that is the data that should be plotted into these charts. So the raw data can be in the form of JSON model or the O data model itself. The second is the flattened data set. So a WIS chart generally needs a flattened data set to have itself portrayed on the HTML page. So a flattened data set consists of dimensions and measures. So these are the dimensions and these are the measures. So what are these dimensions? These dimensions are mostly used for X axis and Y axis. So similarly like here we have mentioned the dimension and this is the axis and 1 stands for X axis and 2 stands for Y axis. And we are giving the name as products itself. The name is used as a label in the legend. In the previous slide I have shown you the, what is legend. And here this, there is this value. This value is binded using JSON model or other model. And here in the fourth step this is the measures. These are generally for the value trends. So this is how we me mention the measures. So this is the name, name of a number of items and there is the value which is binded. So now moving on to the next slide. So this is an example on SAP Viz chart. So first we, we are just creating a simple UI5 project. Then we are defining Viz charts in the view and then we are getting the reference of that, that particular Viz chart in the controller file. So here we have defined the Viz chart in the view and then we have just got the reference of the Viz chart in the controller file. Now we will maintain a raw data that is in the JSON file itself. And then we have just created flattened data set and maintained its dimension that is x axis, y axis and x axis and measures and the path of the data itself. And once this is done, we will now bind the flattened data set to the Viz chart control. And for just an example, here I am just using bar control. Then mention the bar chart properties like title, width and height and then just execute the application. So each and every step is explained in the video afterwards. Now let us just take an example of with frame charts. 
So the first step is to create a new SAP UI5 project. Then we have to define the WIS frame charts and then we have to get the reference of the WIS frame chart in the controller. And then we have to maintain a raw data in the JSON file itself. And when that is done, we have to create a flattened data set and we have to maintain the dimensions, measures and the path of the data. Similarly, as we saw in the WIS charts. So now what is different here? So here we have to set our WIS properties which include the color palette, title of the chart, etc. Also we can give the WIS type as bar chart or pie chart. And we could define the feed items and define the UID type and values here. And now when all these are set, so set the data set, model, WIS type, WIS properties, feed items to the WIS frame chart and then just execute the application. Now just, just follow all these steps in our practical example. Let's now create a new project in SAP Web IDE. So for that, I will just click on file, go to new and then to project from template. I will just select SAP UI5 application. I will set the name as demo this. Since we are using this chart here, I will name it as demo this and the namespace is also demo with. Next and this is our first view and I will click on finish. So first step would be to define the with control in the view. So this is our view here and in the content I will be defining our with control. So before that I will just change the title to something meaningful. So I will use it as this charts. So I am not, not doing the coding in I18, I am just hard coding it for simplicity. So in the content I have to use the with control and for that I will just copy the code from here. So this is the code and I have to also have to add the with library here and that's this. So this is our library, this library, sap.wiz.ui5.bar. So here we are creating our bar chart and we are giving, we have given the ID as this bar and we have set the visibility to true and with this 100%. So I'm just saving it and now we have to add the code in the controller. So before that, what I will do, I will just show you the mo model and I will just maintain a JSON file for this purpose and I will just create a new file and I will just write chart data. So this is, this would be our JSON file from where the data would come. I will just maintain it and I have the code for this also. I will just name it as this. So this is my key value that is value here and the country is USA and the population I have maintained here three three hundred eighteen billion one point two billion this is three hundred eighteen million this is one point two billion this is sixty four million UK and China is one point three billion. So I will just save it. Now what I will do I will use the controller here and in the on net event I will maintain the code for bar chart. Now here I will just copy the code. I will just beautify it. So here we go. So here I have got the reference of the bar chart that we have used here. So the ID was this bar and here I have got the reference of the bar using this particular ID. And now what I have done, I have created a data set which is a flattened data set and we are giving dimension measures and path. So the dimensions are as I told you, so dimensions are basically axes. We define our axes here 
and the measures these are value trends and based on this particular measure the our data will be populated so here the population is the data on which our data would be plotted so I am I have given the path here so model is the, the ID so I have to also set the model in the manifest.json file so here you go this is the 18 model and I have to add the the model that is here I have written it so this is the model ID that we are using that is model itself the type is JSON model and we have given the path here so path should be changed here so here I have used chart, chart data and that's it I will just save this and in the view controller you could see here the path path is given as value so what is value value is the key value that we are used in chart data dot json so this was the value this is the key value so and at the last we have set set the data set within the bar that we are used here so this is simple I will just save this file now I will just run this application so basically we will be getting our population data in a bar chart horizontal bar chart so here is it this is the USA its population is being shown here 318 million and this is India its population is 1.25 billion and UK has the lowest among these that is 64 million and China is the greatest million that is 1.3 billion so we are getting the legend here and we are getting the data here so this was this charts so if you just want to change any type of charts what you have to do just change it here so instead of bar you want to use a pie chart just change it here so I'm just going to save this and if I just refresh this I, I would be getting a pie chart so similarly if you want to use any other charts there are many multiple charts in SAP UI5 so you could just rename the pi to something else and accordingly you just change the measures and dimensions so here is it we are getting China, USA, UK and India so here is the pie chart so that's it for this video thanks for listening